Hey y'all, Elise here from Plan With Elise. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you'll know whenever I upload a new video. And today we will be going over our first paycheck budget of November 2019, showing all of our bills that we have for this week and all the expenses that we have planned to either save money for or spend money on for this coming paycheck. So if you are interested in that and if you would like to plan along, go get your pen and paper and come back here and we'll get right into this thing. Alrighty, so here we go. Opening up my little petite planner and I don't know if they're doing it past October, but all of the planners from this line, um, like this folio and then actual like interchangeable covers and anything from this collection from Erin Condren, if you purchase it, 50% of the proceeds go towards the Breast Cancer Research Fund. So if you support the end of breast cancer, if it affects you and your family in any way or your friends, definitely consider ordering something from this so that that money can go towards the research to end breast cancer. But now, if you saw my video, my last video, which was our November monthly budget, you saw this little baby. And I added a few more stickers since then, not too many, but a few. <laughs> but this is just showing how I'm planning on using the daily planner. It would work better in the monthly planner, but I have the daily planner, so that's what I have to learn how to use. But uh, if you have a daily uh, petite planner from Erin Condren, I showed a way that you could use the calendar part of it to do your monthly budget and so I just filled everything out on here on these stickers and this is from Nora's Cove. I'm gonna give you some more information about her in a second. And then over here, I just listed all of our actual expenses like groceries, gas, blah, blah, blah. And down here we have how much all of our bills come out to for the month, how much all of our expenses come out to, the total budget amount, and then the amount that we expect to roll over into the next month down at the bottom. And so we'll track that and see how it goes. But now into what you are here for, November's paycheck number one budget is gonna be from November 1st through November 7th. I love it when it works out that way. When a month falls perfectly aligned with the numbers because I'm weird that way. But anywho, this is November. Well, this is the second month in <laughs> in the budget book and um technically it's for february but it's undated so i'm calling it november since i started this in october and we are gonna first start by getting to the right page this is just what the monthly um page looks like in the budget book and then when you go to the next page it has the spending summary for i think it's four pages worth yeah and then the next month starts so what I'm going to try to do is use the spending summary pages for my weekly budget. Um, I have decided to go ahead and jump on board with the deluxe monthly planner. I'm going to start using that come January. Uh, but for November and December, I'm going to attempt to use the budget book and the daily planner to do all of my budgets. So the first thing I'm going to do is get, let's find some kind of way to hold this page down. That's the first thing I'm going to do. <laughs> let's see if this will work. All right, it worked. First try. And so now the first actual planner related thing I'm going to do is pull out my sticker kit that I got from Nora's Cove. And if you saw my last video, these are the stickers that I used on that video. It's part of my monthly budget kit that I got from her. And I'm using some of the stickers as my weekly kit as well. So if you would like to see the full kit again, definitely check out that last video. 
and also check that video out because we are teaming up to do a giveaway. Yoshida from Norris Cove and I, um, I'm doing a giveaway on my page for my followers. She's doing one on her page for her followers, well on her channel, on her YouTube channel. And then we have a grand prize giveaway that is a surprise that I believe Yoshida is gonna let y'all know about. But definitely check out that last video so that you can see how to enter the giveaway. Um, all of the instructions are listed. Um, but also be sure to check out Yoshida's YouTube channel. It is Nora's Cove as well as her Instagram and Etsy shop. Um, it's all the same, Nora's Cove. Um, definitely check her out, subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on Instagram and show her some love at her Etsy shop as well. But now, for real, not playing, we're gonna get into this weekly budget. And so the sheets that I'm using out of the monthly kit is going to, or are going to be these stickers. And these are like the title that says income, estimated actual plus or minus, total income, then a bunch of total lines, expenses, budget, actual income, so on and so forth. And they are made this way because this is how Yoshida budgets. So she made these specifically for her, but then a bunch of people were like, hey, where do I get these stickers from? So she decided to sell them as well. And I love them. They are really, really pretty. Um, but I'm going to use the income sticker, the expenses sticker, some of these totals. And I believe that might be all after this that I'm going to use for the weekly budget. And then she also has these stickers. Um, it says weekly check-in on the first one, and then the bottom one just has the gold foil decor, oh, the gold foil decor. I cannot say that, the gold foil decor or design on it, if you can see it. That was really pretty, so I'm either gonna use the weekly check-in sticker from there or the expenses sticker down here at the bottom. We shall see. But we're gonna go ahead and start sticking these babies on and get into this budget again. <laughs> So now that we have all of the stickers placed, let's actually budget. And so, as you can see, this already has lines on it. I'm just gonna ignore the lines, but if you cannot ignore the lines, definitely just get some white out and go boop, boop, or wherever else you need to get the lines out of there, but they're not, too prominent for me so I'm just gonna act like they're not there and write my stuff as usual on here and then go from there so for our bills as always number one on the docket is the mortgage and as usual I'm separating it among paychecks so it's gonna be split into three paychecks again this month. It's gonna be one section on the first, one on the eighth, and then one on the 15th, and then we'll pay it on the 15th. But for the mortgage, I was gonna try to write in that little bitty square, but nope. We are ignoring it. And the estimated amount, I am gonna put lines on here, my own lines, but I don't have my ruler in here right now, so I will do that afterwards. 
The estimated amount we're saving from this check is going to be $500. Then we have our internet. And that is 104.22. Our windows. 65.85. Phone. 60.82. Let me zoom y'all in some more for the writing. Amex. It's one thirty-five thirty-five. And on my monthly budget, I was saying I think we have either two or three more payments of 135.35 and then it'll go back down just to the regular 35 a month for our Amex card. Then our electric bill is 79.05 and our Capital One card is 150. Uh, we made our last payment to our personal loan at the beginning of October. So now our Capital One card is the new snowball debt that we're paying off. So it's going to be a total amount of $326 that we pay towards it a month. But out of this paycheck, when it's actually due, uh, the minimum balance due is $26. And then um, the additional makes it out to $150 and then before the end of the month we'll pay the rest so that it'll be the full $326 paid towards that and so for the total amount of our bills for this week is going to be $1,095.29 and now let's get into the expenses so Starting off with the usual suspects. Ugh, if I know how to spell. <laughs> Groceries. Gas. Tides. And savings. So for this week on our groceries, it's gonna come out to $50 that we're budgeting for for the week. We don't really need to get a lot of groceries this week because we shopped late last week and it'll probably last us the whole week, but I feel like I'm forgetting something that we need to get and I want to make some pork chops and stuff <laughs> this week. So I'm budgeting for that in case we do need to buy food. Let me put these zeros up here because it drives me crazy. And now for gas, budgeting $30 for the week. I think my car is good on gas. Uh, so William will probably have to get gas for the truck. He always has to get gas for the truck. And then for tides, it's my turn. So it's gonna be 95.68. That's another way you can tell what my income is for the week. Look and see what the tides are for that week. And times it by 10, multiply it by 10. Savings, $50. And I will have you know, I'm sticking to my word. I already transferred the $50 to the savings account for this pay period. So it will definitely be in there they'll be taken out as an actual transaction and we have entertainment and yes we are celebrating or well, participating in no spend november 
but there were some things that we already planned on doing for this month before deciding to participate in it so instead of just not doing that or not getting the stuff that we needed to get this month we are still going to do that but that's all like no outside stuff other than the stuff that was previously planned for and budgeted for um and so we were gonna go see the harriet movie the harriet tubman movie and we were gonna go see that anyway and i'm not gonna not go and not support the movie so we're still going so that's gonna be what the 20 dollars is for then for william and me William is buying some new tennis shoes and he is in desperate need of them. So I'm not going to not budget for that. And I had some previous arrangements. <laughs> that's all I can say on things that I was going to purchase this month. So we both have, well, he has more than tennis shoes to buy and I have stuff to buy. So his full, um, allowance for the month I think is 180 and then mine is 50 and then miscellaneous $50 just in case any kind of unexpected expenses come along I always have a miscellaneous category to catch that because it would suck to completely blow your budget because you ended up having to spend an extra $20 on groceries or something like that so miscellaneous comes in quite handy and our total budgeted amount for our expenses is four hundred twenty five dollars and sixty eight cents which gives us a total budgeted amount of one thousand five hundred twenty dollars and ninety seven cents and a rollover amount into next week of $61.21. And I'm just gonna write that over here too. The total, total budget and rollover. And comment down below and let me know if it killed you <laughs> watching me write over these lines instead of trying to fit inside them or something. Let me know how that made you feel on other situations. Like if these lines were bolder, I would be right there with you, but I'm okay for this. And since I'm just doing it for November and December, I think I can handle it. I can make it work for just those two months. Uh, but this is our budget for paycheck number one of November. That's going to be November 1st through November 7th. And again, definitely check out Nora's code for this beautiful budgeting kit. It's beautiful, I love it. It works great. She also has um, the deluxe monthly size too. So she has a B6, a deluxe monthly, and then the petite planner size. So check her out. And I'm just gonna write bills right here. All right, and so one last time for this week. Our full budget is $1,095.29 budgeted towards bills. Then we have $425.68 budgeted towards expenses, giving us a total budget of $1,520.97 and a rollover amount of $61.21 going to next week. That is all that I have. Again, check out my last video so that you can see how to enter our giveaway for a $25 store credit to Norris Cove, a chance to win a December budget kit from Norris Cove, and then a secret surprise grand prize uh, for someone between both of our shop, I mean, both of our YouTube channels. And again, her information is going to be down in my description box as well. So definitely check out all of her social media, subscribe, follow. <laughs> shop everything with her and that's going to be all for me this week i will see y'all next week thanks for sticking around to see how i use this and bye y'all <laughs>